yung question, how do atheists try to redefine atheism and how would you respond to it? Answer. Basically, ang ginagawa ng mga atheists is that when you press them and ask them to bear their burden of proof para sa proposition na si God ay hindi nag-exist, they will say na hindi yun ang view nila as an atheist. They will say that we cannot prove a universal negative. That atheism is basically an absence or lack of belief in a god or gods. And since they redefine it not as a committed belief in something, but as a lack of belief, then this relieves them of having the burden to show evidence for their view. Ang nangyayari is ikaw nang dapat magbear ng burden to show that God exists. Then they will just say whether convinced sila or not without proving anything. And based sa book ni Dr. Craig, problematic ang definition na ito. Ito ay dahil hindi to na we cannot prove a universal negative. In fact, in order to prove this, ang need lang naman gawin ng isang tao is to show na ang isang bagay ay self-refuting. In addition, this is an unwitting admission na impossible pala to prove atheism. Ito ay dahil ang atheism is a universal negative. If we, we, we cannot prove a universal negative, then this leads to the conclusion na ang view nila is unprovable. Ang nangyayari is that ang atheist pala ang nag-believe sa isang view na wala pala and hindi pwede magka-evidence. Also, another problem sa kanilang redefinition is that anyone who lacks a belief in God then could be deemed as atheists. For example, ang mga babies na hindi pa iniisip ang question about God's existence, ang mga pusa, and even ang isang bato could be said to be atheists. Dahil hindi na siya isang viewpoint or position, but rather the psychological state of someone, then atheism becomes something na neither true nor false. 